Welcome back. Coming up on the program, we're going to be going live to Mexico. Kieran Gilbert is there. We're also going to chat with our panel of politicians with Jamie Briggs and Richard Miles. First, though, more on that Julian Assange story. We learnt that he's holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London seeking asylum. I spoke with the Green Senator Scott Ludlam about this earlier. Uh, to be honest, I'm not completely certain. Uh, they'd offered him residency before in 2010, uh, if you can believe that, uh, at the time that the State Department cables had been released. So I believe he thinks it's potentially a friendly government who will take a good look at the evidence that he's going to put to them. Mr Assange claims he's being investigated for political crimes yep. in the United States. The Australian government says it has no evidence of that. So what do you expect Bob Carr to do? The Australian government hasn't gone after the evidence, and that's the the biggest problem that I've got with the inadequate response of Bob Carr and his predecessors is that at no stage do they seem to have said to the US government, are you intending to prosecute Julian Assange and extradite him or not? And if they have, they're not telling us. So I think he's got very well-founded concerns after being branded a terrorist by the Vice President of the United States and commentators right across the spectrum, uh, then seeing evidence that they are intending to prosecute him for potentially crimes that would see him go away for life in an American jail and the Australian government's response has been absolutely feeble. So it is quite a dramatic twist uh, but I, I must say I can understand why he's making the move. Mr Assange uh, had his bid f uh, to appeal the extradition move uh, rejected by a court in the UK. Yeah. He says that the Australian government has been ignoring the obligation to protect a citizen. When it comes to that case, though, the Australian government can't step in and stop these sort of legal processes. It's not the Australian government launching these prosecutions against him. Yeah. Look, at no time has Julian proposed that the Australian government intervene in the case of the matters that are proceeding in Sweden. There are some exceedingly strange aspects to that case. The very, case, the, the very instance that, they, that the Swedish government proposed uh, an extradition for questioning on charges of this kind, that's never occurred before. Uh, Julian had offered himself up for questioning when he was in Stockholm and he was allowed to leave. He's now spent 560 days under house arrest and he's offered questioning either by video conference or at the, the Australian Embassy in London and for some reason the Swedish government is insisting on extradition. So I think his legal team has advised him that all is not as it seems. But he hasn't been seeking Australian government intervention. Mostly what he's been after is some clarity about whether the Australian government would permit him to be extradited to the United States. And that's what this has always been about. So what should the Australian government do today with this news that Julian Assange is seeking political asylum in Ecuador? Look, they'll be waiting like the rest of us uh, on the decision of the Ecuadorian government. And I'm not even sure how long that kind of application is likely to take, what kind of evidence or what kind of case they'll require to be put. But obviously it's a pretty serious bid uh, and he, he wouldn't have done something like this lightly. The Australian government today should do what it should have done yesterday or the day before that, is seek clarity from the United States and put very firmly on the record that we won't tolerate his extradition and prosecution in, in the US. Now if we can get clarity on that matter, if we get a firm statement from the US government that they've dropped their attempts at prosecution, then, then probably the situation would de-escalate. Scott Lutham, thanks for your time. Thanks, Ash. Well, here we are. And on our panel of...